Well, there it is, Witty Warcraft here. Welcome to the bonus campaign, The Founding of Durotar. This is Rexar's campaign in Warcraft 3. So, we're going to be playing this in Warcraft Reforged. Just before we start, if you enjoy this content and want to see more of it, make sure to thumbs up the video, it helps the YouTube algorithm, as well as subscribe to the channel or come watch me over at twitch.tv slash witty. And we're going to start off with Chapter 1, To Tame a Land on Hard Difficulty. So this is the bonus campaign that we got at the end of the Frozen Throne, and it's a fantastic series, which is homage to World of Warcraft questing, basically. Act 1, to tame a land. In the months following the Battle of Mount Hyjal, War Chief Hothral led the Horde back into the central barrens of Kalimdor, freed at last from generations of demonic corruption, the Orcs looked forward to building a new homeland for themselves in Kalimdor. They settled in a harsh, rugged land near the Baron's eastern shore. Thrall named the new nation Duratar in honor of his heroic father. I have wandered alone for many years, little Misha. Yet sometimes even I grow weary of this endless solitude. I have watched the other races. I have seen their squabbling, their ruthlessness, their wars do nothing but scar the land and drive the wild things to extinction. No, they cannot be trusted. Only beasts are above deceit. Of battle. Come, you mongrels. Taste the steel of Morgren's axe. Hold fast, stranger. You shall not stand alone. Damned cowards! Your stomach's been split open. I can do little to ease your pain. I know. This should be a good death, if not for my failure. Failure? I wish to deliver a crucial report to my chieftain in the lands below. But now... I have failed him. I have lost my honor. I will deliver your message, old one. For the sake of honor, I will uphold your charge. Akamagoshoria. Thank you. Seek out the city of Orgrimmar. Find War Chief Thrall. Tell him. <sighs> May the winds bear you swiftly to your ancestors, warrior. Well, Misha, it seems we'll be seeing civilization after all. Let's get moving. Welcome. You start off this campaign with Rexar. He's a strength hero. He's able to summon all sorts of creatures to his side to help him fight through the battles to come. You have a sidekick in the name of Misha, which is his bear, and it's pretty tough, resistant to most abilities as well as just able to tank a lot of damage. I'm ready to track. We have the ability to also summon a quill beast. Unleash this is a strength. ranged unit that can do some nice damage my in the background. Nears. It's the core beast. I'm ready to track. I've got the set. We have a mission. To fulfill the dying wish, deliver Mogrin's report to Thrall. For the sake of honor, you must complete Mogrin's final task. Seek out the city of Orgrimmar and deliver Mogrin's report to the Orc War Chief Thrall. Mogrin's report. This letter is magically sealed on the front, written in large scrolling letters, is the word for all. So this is a resurrection stone. If you should fall, then you will instinct. start back here. I've so you can scent. feel free to quest away and not worry too much about permadeath. As there will be a resurrection stone to bring you back into the game. I wonder. It has been a very long time since I've played this campaign, alone. and I'm very much looking forward to it. My main goal is to uncover an extra hero that you can get through a quest line, 
but I can't remember exactly how I go about doing that. But this hero has an ability that gives him a chance to crit, which will allow him to do bonus damage. And there's going to be drops in this game that include tomes of agility, tomes of strength, tomes of intelligence, that kind of stuff that increase the damage that a hero might do. So anything like that, I'm going to basically be reserving for my additional hero. He is a panda. There will also be another hero. And that hero is a healer, so to speak. And he can also support. But he will only be getting the intelligence tomes, so he can consistently heal and keep us alive. So all tomes of strength and agility are going to go into the panda because there's a really, really cool fight that will occur in the second phase. And I want this panda to be stacked. Misha? I'm pretty sure if I summon another Misha, it replaces the current one because you can only have one. That is the case. So, thought I'd let Misha just drop down to almost no health before I try that. So you can't have more than one. There can only be one Misha. We're fighting through Quill Balls. Replenishment Potion. Hold on to that. I'm acting on I think reforged graphics look really good with Our the Baron's tile set. I instinct. felt this way when I was playing through the Orc campaigns. This dusty the feel, brow. the vibe, the rocks, the trees. I feel like it's quite well suited. Unleash my strength. I wander alone. I Let's go enter the track. Orc encampment. You've got the look of an ogre, half breed. What's your business here? I carry a message for your war chief. I'll not stay long. Unleash my strength. On the prowl. Our paths converge. A warrior city. I have not seen its like in many years. Stay close to me, Misha. Shore up those supports. When the Razor Winds kick up again, they'll tear those roofs right off. Yes, War Chief. A moment, War Chief. I come to deliver a message. How did you come by this report? Where is Mogren? He fell in the wilds. His last wish was that you receive this message. Who are you, warrior? I am Rexar, last son of the Mokhnathal. Mokhnathal? I've heard tales of your people. They had both orc and ogre blood in their veins. It is an honor. We've built this kingdom, Duratar, for all of our kind. Duratar is as much your home as it is mine, Rexar. Stay a while. Accept what hospitality we can offer. It is the least we can do. Perhaps I have spent too long in the wilds. Your offer is kind, Thrall. But I must carry my own weight. Just show me what needs doing and I'll earn my keep. Hmm. <laughs> I understand. Founding a nation is tiresome work. And there are many around here that could use your help. Simply talk to them, and they will point you in the right direction. This is Rokan of the Darkspear tribe. He is one of my best scouts. How you doing, man? Main quest, earning your keep. Solve Gazlo's problem. Complete Drekfar's task. Complete Nazgrel's assignment. So we have Rokan. He hails from the Darkspear tribe on the Echo Isles. This troll is a tracker and Fool's best scout and will serve as a loyal companion to Rexar. His first ability is heal. Then he has Hex, which is to control a creep and turn him into a critter. And Serpent Ward, much favorite. I, I love this ability and I'm going to enjoy that one. Foodie Spirits is basically... Uh, like the Crypt Lord's yeah, Locust Swarm. It sends out little like creatures and attacks them. Nearby enemies. Years. And heals you in the process. 
So, let's stone. head over to the bottom right. You can what actually purchase some items. We've got Maul of Strength, Steady War Axe, Enchanted Shield, Gauntlet of Ogre Strength, Hood of Cunning, Talisman of Evasion, and Crown of Kings. Oh, you can see the price. They're very expensive. They've made this kind of accurate to a degree. It's like, oh, well, yeah, if you want that, you're going to have to pay the price. So... Looks like I'm going to be saving some gold because all I want of my heroes are the best of the best of the best the in terms of items for maximum static. Ah, new guy, huh? I'm Gazlo, chief engineer around these parts. But enough about me. We got work to do, buddy. You see, me and my boys have been dredging out tunnels beneath the city looking for underground wells. Problem is... We dug straight into a den of cobalt. Now those rat freaks are running willy-nilly all over our tunnels. I need you to hook up with my boys and seal those cobalts back in their hole. Yeah, just find the tunnel entrance outside of town and my boys will set you straight. Gazlo and the boys. Seal the tunnel. Enter the goblin tunnels beneath Orgrimmar. Destroy... destroy these support columns and report I'm your success to, to Gazla. So I'm not sure which, which quest sense. I'm going to start off with. On the prowl. We have a stash here for Rexar. So you can what put equipment in here. Me? So if you have anything that you don't particularly strength. want to use currently at the moment, you can stash it in there and then come I'm back to it later. To track. So this leads outwards into the wilds. So let's continue All in Orgrimmar. Converge. On the prowl. Greetings, warrior. I am Nazgul, captain of the War Chief's security force. We've been having problems with the indigenous creatures attacking our borders. Perhaps you can help. The harpies of the northern foothills have been ransacking our supply caravans for weeks. If you can find their lair and put an end to their rampage, I'll see to it that you're rewarded. You've done well. Let's go. Main quest, Harpy Fret. Kill Blood Feather and return to Nazgrel. So he gets his own cool model. Here we can purchase some units. They are pretty expensive. The Pack Beast might be one of the most useful, actually. Unleash my strength. I've got the scent. Ah, you're one of the Maknathal. I am Drekthar. I fought alongside your elders on Draenor many years ago. Still, if you've come to help, I do have a simple task for you. I've been concocting a special potion that will aid our warriors in battle. However, I'm missing a key ingredient. I require Shimmerweed, but the rare herb can only be found in the valley known as Thunder Ridge. Normally, I would gather the herbs myself, but the Thunder Lizards from whom the valley is named have become increasingly hostile of late. If you retrieve six bushels for me, I will reward you handsomely. Yes, uh, Drekfar is the Illidan of the Orcs. My Twitch chat seemed to think he was wearing sunglasses. His main quest is Thunderherb. Collect six Shimmerweed herbs. Ah, you, you can purchase these. I wonder what cooldown they have. The quicker you buy them, though, the quicker you set off that cooldown. A cooldown basically means that if you purchase this, it could be like 120 seconds before you can buy another one. And they only have up to one that you can stack so far. Again, Panda's going to get everything here. Panda is going to get, like, everything. So, what I'll actually value the me? tomes. Because permanent My items are fine. Years. They are what they are. Whereas tomes are... Well, they're limited to a degree. I'm acting on instinct. And virtually unlimited in the grand scheme of things. Flush them out. So, Resurrection Stone. What lies we are now have me? a place to resurrect inside of Orgrimmar. Just on pop the over the floor. I don't think he's going to say anything, but... Them out. Right. So where should we go? You really just can go anywhere on this. I'm going to head north. Because I, I believe the panda alone. is somewhere over here. 
And in an ideal world, I'm going to find him at ASAP. But I believe his quest is very difficult, according to some people. So the chances of being able to succeed could be limited. On the prowl. So. I've got the scent. Let's head over to the first quest line. Blood Feather. Level 10 Harpy. Very, very tough. Probably not realistically my core within my years. capabilities. However, if I can manipulate with Serpent Wards and Dual Beast Micro, it could still be done. I could wear her down. Looks like we've aggroed more than we've bargained for. But we should be strong enough to handle this. Quill Beasts are very good for just upping the damage over time. Hello there. And thank you, Potsick, earlier for the sub. Panda is somewhere in the middle. Yeah, it's like the middle north. North middle. Rune of mana. So I don't need to take that until I've used up more mana. Because that will give approximately about 100 to 150 mana back. I'm not sure what the hotkey is for me. Is it I? It looks like it's I or something. At least you're not going to accidentally hit the hockey eye very easily. Okay. I wander alone. So to get to her, we have to come through this path. We're under attack. So you can see a time of intelligence over here. So I think we need to go south and like round up here. I'm ready to track. Our paths converge. I'm going to avoid this creep camp, so it'll be more obvious to me that there's an item there. Because if there's any tomes, I've got to kind of memorize where they are. So the panda can come and get them later on. Or I just heal myself in this case. Beastmaster is almost level 2. Misha might be worth upgrading. I think she might have slightly better stats than the average bear. Is Misha a boy or a girl? I'm almost feeling like it's a girl. Quill Beast is probably the best bet though. Especially since it gets frenzy and it's ranged. It's a girl. Okay. Healing. We don't need this scent. stuff. Okay, so. Use the Quill Beast. Pull them back. We're going to have to play I'm a little bit smart this. here. This must be one of the caravans Nazgro told me about. Spider Silk Brooch. Ah, that's an anti-air item. That will allow you to bring down an air unit. Might be worth using in this sample, or it might be worth holding on to for future levels. I've got the scent. We'll see. Whether it's necessary. Serpent Ward, ranged ability, range damage, very good. Certainly want to make the most of that. Only 50 gold from each of those gold coins. I wander alone. Quite stubborn indeed. I'm acting on instinct. You say Misha is a female name. Or a male name? I don't know anyone called Misha. I'm acting on instinct. But it does seem to lean towards female, I think. Looks like we're able to deal with these harpies quite reliably, so. We'll continue on this journey. We have Fairy Fire on us, which is a debuff that basically reduces our armor, which increases the amount of damage taken, because armor basically serves as a way to protect your hero. It reduces the damage taken, so lots of agility is a good way to build up armor as well. For every three points of agility, you get one armor. Heal and Sal, very, very good. We're going to just destroy everything as well. Tome of Experience, again, that might just be held for the panda. Although Rexar could certainly use it 
to get level two quill beasts in order to be able to do this. So in this case, I'll probably take the Tome of Experience since there there is a max level in this, isn't there? I don't think the heroes can go past level ten. So I should be safe to take this Tome of Experience because you can just cap out at level 10 anyway, and the panda will eventually reach level 10. So let's give him time of experience. I see. I have to be level 3 before I can get the level 2 cool beast. So it's Stormbolt or Stats. Now for me, it's an easy choice to pick Stats here because Stormbolt costs mana, and I only have a limited amount of mana. I don't particularly need the stun. And plus three stats to everything is like a mini Crown of Kings. It's uh, very, very good. So that's an easy choice. Unfortunately, Rexar does not get Hawks, but that's probably because Hawks would be able to explore the whole map very easily and give him a huge amount of vision. And since this is more about exploring the terrain, that's probably why. I'll go to the edges, just so it gives me a bit more vision to the ground below. I got the right, just cross them out. The beast. I'm acting on instinct. Some more centaurs. On the prowl. And now we have the up and coming creep camp scene. I'm acting on instinct. It should prove an interesting challenge. Misha obviously unable to attack air here, so not much use. Healing salve is a good way to get your health back, but you can't afford to be hit because if you get hit whilst you put healing salve on yourself, the healing salve will be interrupted and will no longer work. I'll see if I can just take this without using the healing salve for now. We've got rune of mana as well, so I can always just do a flat out heal and then take the rune of mana in a second after I've done another quill beast. Let's pull her back whilst building up. It was foolish of you to come here. We are not afraid of you, orcs. We won't let you chase us out of our lands. Is she I never come intended to chase you out. I intend to bury you here. That's dark. She does hit very hard. So, yikes. Luckily, she's hitting Rexar because Rexar has the ability to hit air, which is definitely not the case in melee games. But we are going to be able to take her down. Stay alive. Oh, come on. She must have high rolled there. Tisk, tisk, tisk. That was a high roll, that was. When I say high roll, characters in Warcraft will do something like 64 to 75 damage or something. She basically hit 75. He would have survived that hit if that was anything lower than the maximum damage that she could do. That's frustrating. She should not have got away with that. Flush them out. Looks like my luck continues. What lies I'm wondering if I maybe give uh, Shadowhunter the time of experience this time around. The, the heroes do respawn. I'm acting on that is correct, but right. it's going to take longer to get back from the respawn route. Unleash my strength. Stats. 
he'll be in line to Rexar as well for leveling up. Interesting thing is you can't make Serpent Wards attack because they don't have a command for it. You can only do that from right clicking. Flush them out. Our paths converge. I've got the scent. Don't worry. Be happy. Yes, you can control what the Serpent Ward is attacking as long as the unit it is attacking is within range and when you right click it. Right, I should have saved it just before I tried this boss. What lies before me? My core is time for redemption. I'm ready I to hear track. You, man. I feel you, man. Flush them out. What lies before Abby me? Jamon. It was foolish of you to come here. We are not afraid of you, orcs. We won't let you chase us out of our lands. I never intended to chase you out. I intend to bury you here. I'll just let the Serpent Wars finish her off because I'm not going to let her get lucky again. Not today, Missy. Even then, that was still cheeky. Blood Feather is down. We should go return now. I'm acting on to go collect our reward and see if uh, perhaps it sets up the panda. Because the panda is all about brewing herbs for his beer. So I wonder if this quest line is related towards setting up for the panda. On the prowl. We can use healing salve now. I Since I don't expect to get in any combat, and it takes the scent. 45 seconds for you to get the full health back. Increases the agility hero by 10. That's huge. Seeing as Rokan, our shadow hunter, is an agility hero. Oh, okay. It's spawned a mob. I can't really afford to get hit by it, though. This is going to interrupt my heals. So I'm going to be safe. I think mobs respawn in this, don't they? So you can basically just farm for ages if you really want. I've got the scent. I don't believe any mobs will drop tomes though. Ones that respawn. If they do, that's pretty exploitable. But I'm not sure. On the brow. As you can see, anything I have killed that has respawned on the way back seems to have dropped nothing so far. So it's almost just there for experience and gold. So each point of agility on an agility strength, uh, an agility, a hero will increase their damage by one as well. So it's worth having agility on agility heroes, strength on strength heroes, int on int heroes. I've got the scent. Ah, the caravans are safe at last. You've done well, warrior. The horde owes you a great debt. Go to the armory down the way and tell them I sent you. They'll give you a choice of exotic items. 
I'm ready to track. So in case you didn't spot the armory from the earlier. Bowel. Flush them out. I hear you, man. I've got the scent. My quarry nears. Looks like some new additions. Fire hand. Oh, I see. These are the rewards. So increase armor by 5. Attack rate by 20. Reduce damage from range attacks to 70%. Also increases the armor by 5. Grants nearby units 1 bonus defense. Enhances the armor by 7. I'd say fire hand gauntlets is the best so far. So that's what I'm going for. Unleash my strength. That's the harpy quest done. Our paths converge. No sign of the panda, so I assume we'll just on carry on with more questing. Let's do the left hand side I've up until the, the top left. I'm ready to track. I'm acting on instinct. Our paths Nick's converge. asking when I'm going to get into Reforged Customs. I've Most likely sent. some time period after I've completed alone. this campaign. My goal has always been to just blast through the campaign. So if you're enjoying this series, again, make sure to thumbs up. It really does help out a lot. And enjoy the YouTube video playlist of the Reforged campaigns that I have up on my channel, youtube.com slash wittywarcraft. I've put every single campaign up there so far this being the last one it's been a blast to play them to be quite frank with you i've very much enjoyed it acting on instinct on the prowl hello i've got the scent here we can purchase a rune of speed scroll of protection scroll of mana scroll of healing mantle of intelligence boots of speed would probably be worth picking up because it just increases the pace of which i can proceed staff of negation is pretty cool arcane Mine staff is very nice, though. Increase the mana of the hero by 200. It also grants the hero for any units uh, bonus mana regeneration, which is definitely appreciated. I think boost of speed is pretty much a must, though. 240 what seconds until the next one, me. though. Our paths converge. The brilliant aura is very tempting, alone. too. Essentially, just My more and more mana. Nears. Okay, looks Our like we got some converge. wild kings to deal with here. What lies before me? They're berserk as well. Not just your average wild king, they're berserk ones. Leisha's gonna go down in a moment. Or is she? She's doing okay. See you later, Misha. My quarry nears. Claws of attack plus I'm nine. Ready to drop. Unleash my human. On the prowl. My quarry nears. I don't nears. think. Our no. paths converge. I'm pretty sure that if you go into prowl. caves that have runes by them, that enters Flush into another out. zone. I'm acting on instinct. What lies before me? I hear you, man. I'm ready to track. Unleash my strength. I got their eye, just groove. I've got the scent. I hear you, man. My boy, nears. I got their eye, just the growl. What lies before me? I got their eye, just groove. Flush them out. Flush them out. I wander alone. This is great so far. I've got the scent. Apart from the harpy death, I was a bit triggered from that, I must be honest. Because I know just how bad my luck was in that situation. <laughs> it had to be basically like rolling a one, if you rolled between one and a hundred. So let's hope that doesn't happen too frequently. I hear you rush them out. I got their righteous I'd 
say we can probably go back and get another boost of speed in a moment, because it's probably been close to three minutes. Clockwork Penguin, I think that makes a nice noise every single time you click on it. Our paths converge. It does. Flush them out. This penguin squeak, squeak toy was first created by the goblin tinkerer. Sows high for the centaur. Regarding it with some awe, having seen a, ne never seen a penguin before, the centaur purchased them as idols and worshipped them at altars. What lies before it has no you? purpose, though. Unless it's to be combined with another. Yes, or chief. we can take the shaman, because that's definitely movement speed if you cast bloodlust. Enjoy your bloodlust. I'll get a new Misha so she can have bloodlust. And then bloodlust on you as well. Right away, and now everyone's going to move super fast. Prowl. I'll try to keep that shaman the alive. They're quite squishy me. though. Yes. So I imagine we might end up losing him at some point. I'm a bit scared to sell the penguin though. Just in case for some reason there's like an item later on that you're supposed to combine it with. So I'd rather just leave it in Orgrimmar and see if it's ever used for anything. Because it's only 112 gold. 13 seconds, so time was almost on point. My I hear you, man. We'll take another boost of speed. Unleash my and there we strength. go. Unleash Heading my back strength. to the top left, as was originally my goal. I'm acting on instinct. Our paths converge. So we've cleared that. We're under I'm ready to track. I hear you, man. I help the Unleash my strength. Oh, I'm ready to yes, track. War Chief. Unleash my strength. I want I'm to check around this area, though, maybe, before I quite go there. Because I'm the pretty prowl. sure the panda's like... He's like somewhere over attack. here or something, but... He could be further to the east-hand side. Like, it feels like he's, he's like, here. Honestly, I feel like you could stick the panda right here. So that's where I'm going to go. Flush it out. Unleash my strength. Unleash my strength. Trying to get the shaman killed already. Right, this will lead towards the quest. So, head east towards where I'm pretty sure the panda is. I wander alone. Ooh, Misha. Something is hitting you hard. That gives me pause for concern to try to pull these back a bit further then. It's easier to creep stuff from a larger range because they often run back to their original point. So it gives you more chances to get free hits on them whilst they're running back and forth. And take less damage in the process. Depending on oh, no, that's good. For the time being. So we can soak up the mana from this fountain. May as well do a... No. I'm pretty sure the fountain of mana is just percentage based, so it doesn't really matter if you've got additional mana cap from that item. If we do that, though... What lies Direct before me? me? I got the righteous groove. Probably the same. Yes, dingo. How I could I help? Years. So where was that place that I was heading towards? More to the east, I think. There. Flush them out. Closer to that area. Our paths converge. There he is. Excellent. I'm ready to track. Ah, greetings, my friend. I am Chen Stormstout. 
humble brewmaster of Pandaria. I have traveled the wide world searching for rare, exotic ingredients to use in my special brews. After all, good ale can solve all the problems of this world. Don't you agree? Say, if you're free, I could use your help in locating some special ingredients for my latest brew. If you find the items on this list and bring them back to me, I'll let you sample my masterpiece. I will do that. I just realized that the Tome of Intelligence is from earlier. Could have just been picked up by uh, Rokan anyway. Don't worry. Be because happy. it's best on him, I think. Obtain a keg of thunder water. Obtain a thunder bloom bulb. Obtain a thunder phoenix egg. I hope he doesn't mind if I destroy his barrels. Because that's exactly what I want to do. Ah. Flush them out. He's one step ahead of My quarry nears. And he's invulnerable I've as well. Scent. So, his quest line is top left, over here, and over here. So he's going to basically make you travel. Track. But it's worth it because you'll get I'm him as a hero. Instinct. So the quicker we get him as a hero, the quicker we can start leveling him up. I hope I don't miss anything item-wise as well. Our paths converge. Stat-wise, tone-wise, that's the main thing. I'm very much interested in getting all the times. It does look like Misha can actually be dispelled, which is why she's taking huge chunks of damage. Which is a bit of a pity, because she's not... She is a summon, but at the same time she's more of a real character in this, as opposed to the cool beast. I got the right just on instinct. I wander alone. On the I got your eyes. I know. Push them out. Our paths can merge. I've got the scent. Unleash my strength. Even though I love Serpent Wars, I'm wondering if I should go for level 2 healing wave because my heroes are going to be quite stacked in terms of their abilities, their capabilities, so they're quite valuable when it comes to healing. I wander alone. Mm, I'm using Serpent Wars more though. Yeah, Serpent Ward it is. I can't say no to you. Flush them out. Level two pigs. I've got the scent on the I'm acting on instinct. There we go, Thunder Bloom Bowl. Doesn't go into his inventory. I'm ready to track. What but we have it, I assume. Magicker. On the prowl. My quarry nears. Don't worry. Be happy. I've got the scent. His attack rate is pretty bonkers. Abby Jama. And it will only get better. What lies before me? Unleash the beast. Flush them out. F is the hot key for frenzy. That makes the pig basically bloodlust. If it moves faster, it attacks faster. Shop here. Scroll of speed. Mm, Hellstones actually stack now. But. All of my gold is basically going to go into tomes, because I'm assuming that I'm going to get items anyway throughout the game. So that's the first quest done. I might have to go back on myself a little bit here.
Let's get a choke point going on. Lightning Shield is pretty good for creeping as well, but I'll keep the uh, mana for the bloodline. Because I definitely want to make sure I explore the entire map, and I might be missing some bits as I'm trying to beeline for the panda. But that's okay, because you can just kill again and get experience. At least you're getting something for doing it over again. As you can see, my inventory is like full I'm already. Ready to track. I hear you, man. On the prowl, unleash my strength. Abby Jammer, wander alone. I'm acting on the inside. I'm the righteous man. I'm ready to track. I hear you, man. Wash them out. What type of music preference? I like quite a lot of music. I guess EDM or something like that. Electronic music is probably my favorite. I'm enjoying Reforge because so far I'm only playing the campaign. <laughs> I haven't played any of the other aspects of Reforge yet. So, not many complaints so far. I'm acting on instinct. Getting low on the old mana. Be happy. You can pass this item over to Rexar, because what it does is it increases their maximum mana pool. And if they're close to their maximum mana, it's uh, very, very good. I got the right just groove. So I'm gonna use up basically the rest of his mana and then pass that pendant over for a bit more min-maxing. Always make sure to use the clockwork goblin penguin from time to time. What lies before me? It'll make you feel good. Alright. Me and Nisha, the other one's out. Get injured right now. I've got the scent. Oh, I can take one of those. Unleash my strength. Leave the other one. It's strange to get two of those right next to one another. Alright, we're just continuing on with the quest. So what I say is, what I might do is, once I've got the panda, is I might sort of back up on myself. Just so I can definitely confirm that I've been everywhere and collected all the items. Including any tomes that I've missed out. So I'll probably go back to the starting area and work my way up to the top left onwards from there. And also do the quest within the vicinity, just to make sure I've definitely not missed anything once I've got that panda. Because the panda is the key. You get three heroes in total on this mission, in this campaign, so you may as well get him right at the start if you can. Yeah. The phoenixes have all burnt out. Circuit of nobility. Sweet. On the prowl. I hear you, man. Our paths converge. I don't think they're going to come this far. Wow, that's some damage. Hello there, Shama. You can have bloodlust again, though. Unleash my strength. I got their righteous groove. Sweet. Turns out these phoenixes are a bit of a power spike on the mobs I've been fighting so far. Stay back. Oh, 
I've got the scent. Good, good. Well done. Shaman still not listening. Our paths converge on the prowl. I'm acting on I will make use of the healing rune further back, but I would like Rexar to take a bit more damage if I can. And then we'll enjoy that. I got the right just Okay, that will do for now. I'm acting on instinct. I'm ready to track. What lies before me? Can probably enjoy the mana as well after a bit more bloodlusting. For the whole I've got the scent. What lies before me? I got the righteous Oh dear, that's gonna be Yeah, I'm gonna have to be more cautious with this one. I hear you, man. Those are some angry phoenixes. I got the righteous groove. Get some more serpent wards set up. My quarters. I wander alone. Jamon. I've got the scent. Flush them out. <laughs> Every now and then I have to get reminded by chat to put the face cam on. Jamon. My quarry. Good job. My quarry. I got the right just ready to track. I'm ready to track. Excellent. One more item to collect. This game has actually been a bit more stubborn on tomes than I thought it would be. I thought I was going to have to memorize where everything is. See, this sealed a, sealed a spider silk brooch, I just don't know if it's worth the hassle of holding on to that one. Don't worry. It's the be cheapest happy. item as well. Unleash my strength. I'm going to have to like return some items my back. Claw. Oh no, arcane my scroll here. Glorious. Increases, restores hit points. Oh, that's alright. We can use that now. Abby what lies before me? And that gets that out of the way. On the prowl. Right. We are going to attack our way probably back to camp and get rid of some items. Maybe just sell them to a shop. I don't want to use any more mana on um, Rokan because I'd like to swap the Pendant of Energy back onto him. There we go. So he can now have maximum mana for more serpent wards. My strength. I've got the scent. I wonder alone. I wonder alone. Okay, Dike. On the prowl. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Maria. Wow, these wild kings sure do spawn quickly, don't they? They got no population issues. Get a new Misha. Might wait until I get level two though. Could be quite close to level level two Misha for Rexa. 
my quarry near. Got a shop up above. My strength direct me. I'm acting on instinct. Not enough mana. I'm ready to track. One lies the I'm ready to track. What lies before me? I want to go. Flush them out. Don't worry. Be happy. I'm ready to track. Flush them out. There's a tome underneath the arch. Ah, yes, yes. Good spot. See, I'm quite blind, so I might miss things like that. Did that drop from the recent creeps that were killed? Because those recent creeps were respawns. Okay. Things like that. They're nice, but they're lower level items, so I really don't care about anything that is kind of lower level, because as you can see, we're just going to basically replace it with much more powerful items later on. So we'll hold on to what we got at the moment, but even then I could get rid of some more. The penguin. The penguin. I'll leave it at base just in case, but most people seem to think that there's nothing, nothing special about the penguin. I wander alone. Flush them out. Now that we've cleared some spots, I might come over here to get some more mana for my shaman. I'm acting on instinct. I got the right, just grew. Lots of bloodlust. So as of this date right now, I don't have much of an opinion on Reforged in terms of criticism. What I'll plan to do is spend some time to play the game after I've done the campaign and then quite likely maybe do some reaction videos to other YouTubers who have basically created criticism of the game itself and respond to that criticism. Because I feel like that would probably be a good way to address a lot of the issues that get brought up. And issues that I might not even bring up myself until it's been spoken about. So it would be a good sort of reminder for me to say, oh, okay, so let's address this point that he's just made. And so forth. And then I can give my opinion more clearly that way. Not always the best when it comes to sort of writing everything down concisely. But I'm pretty good when it comes to reacting to stuff. More of a reactionary. And then after enough time, I may well be able to put together all of my thoughts into one cohesive video, but at the moment, that is not the case. But you're still going to have to wait because... We've got all of this to go through first. <laughs> on the prowl. I'm acting on instinct. I got the right just out. At least we're blasting through the mobs. We don't get slowed down too much. I think finding that shaman early on really, really helps. So the pathway I seem to have taken has been quite lucky in a lot of eight ways, because like I say, it's been years since I played this, but I've seemed to have just come across the right way to do it. Thus far. We're getting close to this point. So let's right click here and see where our heroes go. They're going south. How can I help? Unleash my strength. Might be in a position where I can start taking Stormbolt with Rexar as well. But he's going to just go back and forth. Listen, stranger, for my time is short. 
We shaman were attacked by a band of renegade warlocks. Our own kin, still loyal to the Burning Legion. The warlocks stole one of our sacred artifacts, then fled back into the hills. No doubt they have a secret coven nearby. <sighs> Avenge the ghosts of my murdered brethren and recover the stolen artifact. There's no telling what evil they might unleash with its power. Those warlocks are always rascals, aren't they? So, warlock coven. Slay the warlock coven, recover this sacred relic, and return to your boy. Morg wolf song. Well, first of all, I've got a panda to sir. The prowl. To get back into the game. Panda is of utmost importance. So as I was saying, I'll be going back and forth between Misha and Quillbeast now as I level up. This reeks of evil. It must be where the warlocks are hiding. Our paths converge. An outsider. Slay him, brothers. Quickly. Got some spike damage here. I'm really cautious about them sort of one shot that shaman. Practically one shot him. So. Five thousand gold now. I was supposed to head here. Morg tricked me. I ended up doing his quest first. That's okay, because we've got to go back that way anyway. So I guess it's worked out. That was easy. I'm missing now. Wildkin on that side. I'm acting on instinct. Can have some healing. On the prowl. He could do with some healing. The ghosts of my brethren. Now lie silent. Thank you, warrior. You have rid the world of a terrible evil. I feel my death approaching. Take the artifact and the rest of our items. Use them to bring glory to the Horde. I will rest easier knowing that they lie in honorable hands. <sighs> Starting to get the feeling that Rexar's a bit of a bad luck charm. Flush them out. Every them single back. orc he's coming across so far, or almost all of them, are just getting killed after talking to him. Let's pick up the time of intelligence. Shaman Claws. I feel you, man. Increases attack damage by 12. Have a chance to dispel and slow the enemy movement. Oh, look. Quite a nice combo. I'm ready, ready to take to the track. potion of mana. Okay, let's carry on. I'm acting on instinct. I got the right, just I got the scent. Notice how Misha looks a bit more beefy now in the level two form. What lies let's see you. how it looks in level three. I'm ready to track. That Quillborn knows better. Our paths converge. Oh, there we go. So that's got to be the keg of thunder water. A keg filled to the brim with the strongest drink available. This side of Karsmadan. Mana stones. Stacking those would be really cool as well. But again, item wise, we might just get stuff that's even better than maybe even five mana stones stacked on top of one another. So money's going to be going on those tomes. And I'm going to be sending Ken or Chen... Storm Stout. Basically over to this shop periodically <laughs> to just buy tomes over and over. 
paths converge. Because you can only have up to six items, but you can have unlimited tomes. So tomes get the highest priority for me. Before me. You, there was gold? Prowl. Oh no. Where was the gold? Our paths oh well, converge. I'll send uh, Rexar back. I, got the right just I can't miss out on gold. I'm ready to track. A don't worry. Be happy. Ah, there was. Why do I keep missing all of this? I guess I'm trying to move too fast. Pen of Energy, they actually dropped an item. I must have killed those before though. So I guess there's just a random chance for items to drop. On the prowl. I wander alone. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> These are just what I needed. Here, try a sample of my latest creation. <coughs> what the hell is that stuff? Are you trying to kill me? Ah, perhaps it needs some refinement. <laughs> After all, we must learn to crawl before we can run. <laughs> Don't you agree? <laughs> well, now that my brew is complete, I can experience more of this strange, rugged land. Would you mind if I tagged along with you, warrior? Not at all, Chen. But my path is a perilous one. Ah, my friend. I found that no path is too perilous when doused with strong drink. Off we go. Rexar has pretty low standards if he just wants He's someone that spews on him. To join him. Before me. Name your poison. I'm acting on instinct. All right. So there's one job for you, Mr. Panda, and that's to get back to base. We can get rid of all of that stuff. Oh, there's a scroll of town portal. Unleash my strength. Let's come over. We're under attack. What lies before to the me? shop over here. What lies so he gets breath of fire, drunken haze, and drunken brawler. I'm actually going to put points into drunken brawler. Because that's the ability, the passive ability that is basically all about on the crit. He's got boost of speed, actually. I was just going to buy boost of speed. Let's hurry up and finish this creek camp. Oh, it goes up to level 4. 30% dodge and 6 times normal damage. There's only a 10% chance for it. But if you get him to basically like 200 agility, he's going to have a 400% attack speed. There's a 400% attack speed cap. I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage that, but I'm certainly going to try. So come over to Fudu Lounge. And you can imagine him attacking with 400% attack speed. And potentially doing all of that damage. Time of agility, time of strength. So we've got two minute cooldown. But the campaign is quite long, so I should be able to keep bouncing back and forth. I won't buy the time of intelligence. It's agility and strength that he basically Another needs. Round? It's going to increase strength, increases his damage, agility, increases his attack speed. You think the XP time is worth it? Depends how much expense. Because we have. Nah. I, w I won't worry. It's only 100. So I say no to that. I say nay. Flush them out. I wander alone. Okay, so now let's go back our to the start converge. and work our way from where we were, but so I'm I don't get a headache and a get concerned about stuff that I've missed. I'm acting on and I need to keep an eye. Two-minute mark. 
growing. Our paths converge. I got the righteous groove. So there was a time of intelligence over here. What lies oh, look at that. Another item. Flush them out. Oh, another item. That's more gold in the coffers. For more tomes. We need to basically make 2,200 or 2,400 gold every two minutes so I can consistently go and buy tomes. My quarry nears. Our paths can brewing. Flush them out. My quarry nears. A I got the righteous groove. Flush them out. Abby Jaman. How can I help? I'm ready to try. Ah, oh, no. Never mind. I got the righteous groove. My quarry nears. I was trying to get a unit to spawn over there. I've got the scent. Flush hey, them out. Voice. My quarry. Another Sorry, I had to see if the pig had anything to give. Instinct. You seem other than bacon. Parched. Flush them out. You Unleash seem my parched. strength. What lies before me? <laughs> so, his my chance to dodge is also is insane, by the way. The evasion. 30% chance to just not take any damage at all. Turns out to be pretty good. So I'm not seeing anything item-wise here. So we know bottom left is done. We need to get rid of some items. That's uh, increase the attack rate and movement speed, endurance aura. We don't. I can get rid of some of this. I wonder alone. <gasps> Is it ready already? Wow. It must literally just be only ready now. So, time of agility. Boom. Time of strength. And we better go make some money. I don't even care about that item. I'm, I'm going to be really stringent. The only stuff that these characters are going to hold on to are going to be things like epic items. I'll drop the hellstone here in case I can stack that. Shush. I'm not done with you yet. So, I have a nice clean inventory to work with. Our paths converge on the prowl. Work our way back towards the left and hug. Also kill, because it's just going to level me up anyway. So, strap yourself in. This could take a while. We've still got a lot of the map to do, as well as stuff that I'm basically revisiting right now. This is not going to be a short experience, but I think you probably knew that going in. I wander alone. So nothing we need to buy here. Not even the mine staff I'm worried about because mana doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. And we're drive. close to 2,200 mana again. That's another reason to grind creeps as well. It's because they're going to give me gold. It's not tons of gold, but it's enough to build it up. And they might drop items that I can sell as well. Where are you running to? I'm not done with you yet. It's a rune of mana. I'll leave my shaman there. Didn't see anything here. Carry on creeping this for now. We do. Keep going. On the prowl. Keep grinding the good grind. I'm acting yes. on instinct. Need to find something else to pull over. Flush them out. Don't worry. What lies me. That will do it. Make we need more gold. I don't we know if I'm going to be able to get 2,000 gold reliably every two minutes. We need 
Those were 50 gold each, though. Necrolite, Ogrelord. That's a no on both of those. Not exactly terrible me? units by any means, but nothing that on I need. I just want to see a really overpowered Chen. Maybe if I stayed in the game for like 20 hours, I could buy enough tomes for that. I've got the scent. Let's go do this quest. Is trouble. Thunder Ridge, named after the massive thunder lizards that make their home here. This land is an ecological wonder filled with many diverse families of creatures. It can be studied for ages and still hold various surprises for those who have traversed its protective valleys. Flush them out. Thunder Ridge. This must be the valley Drek'thar spoke of. This shouldn't be too difficult. The claws attack plus 15 is nice, but we don't need that. Ready to track. So this is cool. You get like a little mini bonus zone for this one quest alone. What happened to my shaman? I don't think units can actually pass through into these areas. So my shaman is back in the other zone. Hopefully not getting killed by... Um, yes, thank you for the reminder on the face cam. Hopefully not getting killed by mobs whilst I can't protect it. I'm acting on instinct. Our paths Claws on Panda may be in the long, long run, but I might get better items in Claws of Attack plus 15. So, again, the only thing I'm buying are times. I got the right just move. So I'll go stats. I'm just gonna go like stats and brawler. Not even that much emphasis into the actual spells that he has. Shimmerweed. I think we need six of those. This must be the shimmerweed. I'll need to gather five more bushels. I'm acting on instinct. I wander alone. Keep an eye out then. Our paths converge. Flush them out. On the prowl. I've got the scent. So the Panda's other abilities are Breath of Fire and Drunken Haze. You typically combine those. You cast Drunken Haze first to put a debuff that decreases the movement speed as well as their chance to hit. And then you cast Breath of Fire, which does additional damage. Well, it does initial damage, and then it does additional damage if they've got Drunken Haze on them. That lightning shield is pretty big. I 
don't want to kill them though without a lightning shield because I won't get the experience if it's cast by someone other than me. So I'm just putting him in the corner for now. Unleash my strength. I wander alone. Okay. On the prowl. Hopefully by the time we've got this done, we can come back and get some more tomes. Like I say, I'll be lucky if I can buy tomes off cooldown, but I'll certainly try to favor them. I actually favor the strength tomes over the agility, simply because agility is fantastic, but it does have a cap. I mean, you can keep getting agility all you like, and it will increase your armor, but there are diminishing returns on it. The strength doesn't have diminishing returns on it, though. And the agility, like I say, also has that attack speed. But once you get it to 200, you've reached the attack speed cap. You cannot attack any faster. No matter how much more agility you get beyond that point. So, Tome of Strength is technically the most valuable one. Because I may get agility or just from my bonus stats. There's 12 points here, so 182 points in agility from other sources. I need them to drop some nice expensive items that I can sell. Be happy. We're under attack. I'll put it on your set. Three hundred gold on that. I wander alone. I got the right just grew. I'm acting on instinct. On the front. I gotta remember to save periodically just in case there are any um issues. I think that's the entire place cleared. I've got the can return to get some mana before we go, and we'll go from the left hand side actually. I'm gonna leave this cruel beast over here just in case that Thunder Lizard is on like some patrol. So I can capture it. I'm ready to track. Because I want all shot. of the gold. What lies before me? Half the map is still black. That is correct, but I don't necessarily think that there's anything else there. It seems to be blocked. That's blocked. So it's blocked from here onwards to here. Blocked, 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 blocked. Blocked, 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 blocked. So you're not necessarily supposed to do the whole map because there isn't any rest of the map. Unless you come back here later. For something else. Level 3, certain ward. Ha! Huh. It does 41 to 45 damage and level 4 gives it splash damage. I wonder how that works. Alright, we've got enough now. Got the scent. I'm acting on instinct. I've got the scent. Abby Jama. I'm acting on instinct. Our paths converge. Act one to tame a land in the months following oh well, we know this. So bouncing back and forth. Loading times might be a bit brutal, though. What lies before me? Okay. I'm acting on. Instinct. Let's kill these because they were giving like fifty gold each. Unless the respawn ones don't give as much gold. 49 gold. No, the gold is good. But I imagine you get much better gold from even later creatures. So, like with most sort of RPG maps, you could farm the initial creeps, but there's a good chance that you'll get way more valuable time. You know, like cost-efficient time in the late game. 
I'm acting on instinct. Shaman can yes, chill over Archie. at the fountain. Unleash my strength. Ooh. I still think Corby's is better. It also has area of effect damage somehow. Flush them out. Oh, gladly. Hmm. Oh, look at that. It sounds like it's... something or someone is riling up those lizards. I'll look into it myself. Well, at least my potion is complete. Here, take a few vials of it. It'll serve you well. Have one on the heart. <laughs> yeah. On the prowl. Okay, so where were we? We were kind of doing like the left-hand side of the map. Take these potions I've worked really hard on. You just immediately sell them. I've been slaving over this for days. Look at that, Corby. That's a big boy. Yeah, these centaurs are giving like almost no gold. So if you were going to farm, you want to farm the left-hand side. So don't waste your time on those anymore. On the prowl. I just wanted to still make sure that I've gone over the territory. I think there was some harpies close to this east stand side, but we're still just double checking the top. Doing what we do. We've got that area to do as well. Let's just double check this. You have a question because it didn't end the Brain of Chaos campaign, just got to the else when custom campaign unlock. By that I mean when one you are playing because it's pretty chill to play. Uh, I have no idea. I thought there was issues right now that you can't even play custom campaigns. That panda really needs that leveled up drunken brawler because he seems to get beaten up pretty bad. I'm going to get the bear over into there. Drop a lot of gold. I'm gonna pass that over to the panda now, actually. Anything that increases the panda's agility and stuff like that. Flush them out. That's fine, because that's an aura. Our paths converge. I wander alone. Okie dunk. I'm acting on instinct. What lies before me? I've got the scent. No. Our paths converge. My quarry. So I just rears. confirm in this left hand side and this and this. I don't think there was any tomes left in the Thunder, in the Phoenix Valley, so I probably don't I'm need to come through instinct. this section, unless Flush them out. they're going to give me some good resources. I'm ready to track. I'm ready to track. Flush them out. I'm ready to track. Be happy. I've got the scent. That shaman's in trouble. So I'm just going to pull these mobs over so we can kill those as well in a moment. Just creeping everything and everywhere. Eight gold, but he did drop a time of intelligence, so I'll give him that. What lies before me? So the reason why you want like intelligence on um, your shadow hunter is because he heals, and intelligence gives you mana regeneration. So mana regeneration equals more mana for casting spells, essentially. 
to the point where maybe you can regenerate mana so fast that even if you spent your mana as soon as it was available, you couldn't even do that. You like basically effectively have like almost an unlimited mana. And that's pretty handy on a character that can keep summoning like creatures that can attack as well as heal the team. That's pretty high fun you. I dropped those. the pan a bit. I'm acting on so if we leave that and we can come back to that afterwards. The prowl. There was still a bit more down here and back over here. Those centaurs are so stingy with the gold. Leave the shaman there for now. Get your mana back for more bloodlust. What lies before me? All right, bring the shaman back in because I'm going to use that rune of mana. There we go. I'm acting on instinct. We know we've cleared that section. We're fighting back over to here. I don't suppose the blood feathers uh, respawn. That's unlikely. Maybe her minions have them. I wander alone. Ah. So this was earlier. I'm acting on instinct. We're under attack. I wander alone. Abby Jamon. Unleash Still need that gold, don't we? Ah yes, this led up to here. I don't think there's anything else I left behind now, was there? In terms of times of intelligence, we picked up the time of intelligence. Well, yeah. Their gold is abysmal. Just checking with Rexar to see if there's anything special here. I've got the scent. If not, these guys are just going to go quest We're back this way. What lies before me. Nah, no special mob. Our paths That's that shouldn't be really. I wander alone. This was the Our west hand side. Converge. On the prowl. Have one on the house. My fang and claw. They got their ranches to move. I'm ready to track. Our paths converge. 
I wander alone. I got the right to find the world. I'll give it a shot. Unleash my strength. I am on the prowl. My quarry moves. Abby Jama, wash them out. I'm acting on instinct. Yes, I got your chances. Abby Jama. What lies before you? Ready to happy. I'll put it on your cash. Yes, War Chief. I wander alone. Sweet. You betray me. Oh, yes. I feel you, man. I feel you, man. So we want to kind of be quick going through these new areas that essentially have rubbish centaurs in it. But they're not going to give me anything good. Orgrima tunnels. Within the tunnels below Orgrima, the goblins have dug deep into the ground in search of water for the orcs' new home. Though the goblins are master diggers, they have little regard for the repercussions of turning so much soil. Oh, this looks very familiar. Whoa, you're a big one! Gaslow City be sending some muscle. Do you goblins have a plan? Of course. If you can get us close enough to the tunnel support beams, we'll blast them to smithereens. Got to collapse the ceiling on top of those rats and fix our problem up real nice. Gotta love the goblins. I've got the scent. What? Their lives are in my hands. Ass Assassin's Blade. Certainly not. Worth the hassle I'm though. Ready to track. Oh, gladly. Fifteen percent chance to stun the enemy is actually kind of a bonkers item, potentially, on Chen in the late game, because of the potential very fast attack rate that he can have. But I, I don't know. That's one that's gonna go into the crates and I'll decide later on whether I need it or not. Double KO. Flush them out. I got the right just going on the leash by strong. My core is. Back we are. Let's sell. Not that. I actually sell them for 25. I'm going to sell that. I hear you, so man. That. So that. My quarry nears. Abby what happened Jama to the boost of speed on Rokan? Did I pass him over then? I thought I had a spare boost of speed. Can I help you? I got the right just groove. I'm ready to. Can't track. imagine selling them. Secret, you say? Beams. Well, that's the thing. If you guys can... It's all yours, goblins. All right. 
If you can remind me of any secrets, because I'm I won't remember from that many years ago. Most of them. Before me, what lies Let before me? What you really got to work your way through those. <laughs> it's a lot of goblins' lives. Have one on Flush the them out. What lies before me? My ears. There's some trees here. So that looks like something. So basically we're just going to blow up everything. He took out one tree. Three of their lives for one tree. Shut. Have one on the house. There's the time of strength. I'll put it on your tab. The panda gets stronger. Oh, Was there an item I left behind or something? Superiority. I'm ready to track. Yes, what? We're under attack. What lies before me? Wrecking crew here. Sounds good. My quarry nears. Flush them out. Most of the map looks pretty explored at this point. I'm ready to track. I'll give it a shot. Oh, it's just a room. I'll give it a shot. You gotta do better than that. I got their right, just groove. Flush them out. I'll give it a shot. There was nothing behind those trees. Should I be feeling guilty for killing this many goblins just so I can get more loot? I hear you, man. My quarry nears. We're under attack. Primed and ready. Flush them out. I think that's it, isn't it? Have I missed anything? No goblins are worthless. What? I used to have a goblin rogue in World of Warcraft. My and that was cataclysm. Those rocks are part of the cinematic part for completing your objective. I don't think there's anything else that I haven't spotted. So... I mean... Have 
have one on the house. We're under it all just ties up to where we've been. I'll give it a shot. Unleash my strength. So let's just go blow up the column now. Flush them out. Let's go report to Gaslow then. Seems like our work here is done for the most part. Strength. I'll put it on the touch. My strength. My quarry nears. I've been ready. All right, well, we'll be going back to tame a land, as we know. Hopefully he'll give us some gold as a reward. And I can buy some more tomes. Flush them out. You'll be unleashing my strength. So that's that done. Let's head back to camp. I'll give it a shot. A wise plan. Have one on the house. I'll give it a shot. We're under Direct attack. Me. He's like a fountain of mana. Bit risky to send him off though, because he can get killed on the way. Have one on the house. So they blew themselves up, you say? Now that's occupational commitment. Anyway, you're done good, kid. Take these items. It's the least I can do to repay you. Ah, Thromkar, Rexar. The others tell me you've been a great help to them. I appreciate all you've done for us. Thromkar, Rexar. I spoke to Thrall about the humans encroaching on our lands. I, for one, don't trust them at all. I'd like you to report to our outlying watch post and meet with my lieutenant, Garthok. I need to know if they've spotted any suspicious activity along the border. Okay. Garfox, time to shine. So this gets frozen, this cooldown, when you go inside of those caves. It's kind of curious. <sighs> what else have I forgotten? We should probably go back up to the panda area, maybe. And then work our way around. Just ignore the creeps, because they just We're don't give enough gold at this point until I can find more impressive ones. How can I help? Hopefully he doesn't get killed. I hear you, man. Sweet. Does Dingo. Doesn't seem like I even need booster speed on Rokan. He seems pretty You'll quick. Trixie. Direct me. We're under attack. Yeah, nice try. My save might be too far back, so the shaman's dead now. <laughs> I actually made the shaman attack my own units, but it still didn't stop the, the shaman from getting killed. That was a nice try. All right, let's see if these guys have any kills. It's annoying losing the shaman, but it's not the end of the world. I think I'll survive. Good 
It was a bit of a hassle trying to keep him alive the whole time as well. Keep an eye on him. Now that's what I like. Now I don't have to worry about it. It was a little cheeky because there's a thing called attacking your own units which makes essentially yourself no longer hostile. The character that's attacking your own units. But I did that with the Shaman, but the Shaman still got killed. So sometimes they behave and sometimes they don't. Typically trolls are notorious for ignoring manipulative game mechanics. So if you try to manipulate things like that, there's certain types of AI creeps that seem to sort of bypass it. And there's no way to know if they're definitely going to do it or not. It's basically a luck thing. Time of knowledge, again, everything to the panda. That's plus one to all stats. Sobi mask, good for you. I might want to get boosted speed on him now that I don't have the bloodlust. Otherwise, we've got endurance aura with the item and boosted speed on each of them, so they're basically fast. It's just their attack speed is a little bit lacking now, thanks to Mr. Shaman's death. I apologize. I got the right just on me. I'll give you a shot. Oh, Peck. I'm a head out. Have a good day. I've been watching some YT, but thanks for reminding me, Elder. Times with WC. Bye. Thank you very much, Peck. That's uh, awesome. Uh, I mean, I'm happy to be re reminding myself as well of the times. It's fun to play this. Especially since there's the potential of that overpowered panda. So if you didn't have that, it wouldn't be quite as enticing. But because we have that, it's always fun to have like a massive potential. And the panda is the potential in the long run here. So level 6. You can get Fudu Spirits. <sighs> I'm actually going to pick Healing Wave. Because it's quite expensive and I don't even think I really need it. I value healing up all of my group than just solo healing up my dude over here. Panda, again, just Drunken Brawler, attribute bonus. All in for that, all in. We got a quest over here, so we may as well head that way. And a Resurrection Stone, not that I've been using them. <laughs> It's just loading. Speaking of which, let's give it a save. You could get an orb of fire for the panda just so you could hit air, but I might get that as an item. Stampede is also very nice. So we will get that one. And he seems to have enough mana to support it. Oh, wow. Thank you very much there for Never the five gifted subs as well, Peck. Never trust an elf. Thrumka, warrior. We haven't seen any signs of human activity, but the local quillbores have been getting bolder. There is an observatory nearby that helps us spot potential threats. You might want to check it out, but be warned. The quillbores roam the entire area. Gold Kosh. If only there was a way to root them out, we could end their threat once and for all. That's the closest you're going to get to Skyrim. On your tab. It's this character right here. Just going to steal the gold. I'm sure you guys don't mind. This is familiar. So I don't think you can come up here until you've done the other part of his quest. Or the first part. So we have to go east, I think, first. I got the right. Okay. B 
beast den. Fishes into territorial. The quill boars are not an enemy to be trifled with. It is said among the orcs that only the suicidal will fight the quill boars in their own home. I guess we're suicidal then. So there's not actually many checkpoints in this, are there? I'm having to do a lot of manual saves. Kind of want to aggro like all of them and then do a stampede. It appears that they worship some kind of primitive boar god. Interesting. We're under attack! Jamon. Don't worry. Be happy. Daz Dingo. My fang and claw. I hear you, man. We're under Sweet. attack! Abby Jamon. Stampede has got a different hotkey, it's E. I hear you, man. Don't worry. Be happy. We'll come back down to the satyrs afterwards. I'll give it a shot. Abby Jamon. Have one on I the got house. the righteous groove. There's like something behind here, maybe? Oh no. You can't actually fit through there. Thirty two more pigs to kill. Two hundred and four crit from the panda. And he's only just getting started, that's only level two. And these stats are gonna get much better. So I'm pretty excited about the panda. We're gonna try to get like some one thousand crits. See, I think like these little dungeon areas like this really work for me. They look really sort of cool and atmospheric. I guess I have a quill board chieftain now. Let's see how long I can keep him alive. He's quite small, actually. Which is probably a good thing, because otherwise he'll get in the way a lot. But he's actually very powerful. You work for me now. I got you. I got the righteous groove. I hear you, man. Yeah, in case I didn't make it kind of clear, the pan. This is what makes the panda so amazing. This drunken brawler. So if you hover over this, there's a 10% chance that he'll avoid attacks and do um, additional damage. And that additional damage can be up to six times his normal damage. So every point of strength increases his actual damage. So he'll do six times 50 or damage. And it'll be even higher by the time he gets leveled up. I got there right. So it's, it's insane. It's insane. The Blade Master has a critical strike that goes up to four times additional damage, but it's a higher percentage chance. But in this case, because it's the bonus campaign, you get like an extra level, so you get up to six times. So he'll he'll be like the equivalent of a a high level Blade Master essentially. And you know how insane those guys can be.
Well, before I come out of here, I better go down to the bottom right and do the little Sator area. I wasn't sure if that was like going to lead over to here or if it's closed. Bonus hero point received. Your heroes now have an additional bonus point to spend. Oh, that's interesting. So it doesn't actually level you up, but it gives you the ability that, as if you had leveled up. So, level 3 Misha, I suppose. Now you can get Locust Swarm. That's fine. Can't get that, so he's going to have to pick something. Probably should get Drunken Hayes, because it's got a debuff. Which could be strong versus opponents if they're going to give me a hard time. Put it on your tab. There's the big Misha. Doesn't have blink though. Maybe the last level of Misha gets blink. No, it doesn't say it has blink. So it's a, oh, that's a shame. But that's probably because it could be exploited maybe. Got some nice scrolls here we can sell. See, this is where I think like Reforge has the most potential. It's just these kind of areas like this. It feels way more real than like lived in. Yeah, I guess or for Chen, for the time being. I hear you, man. Just so he can hit air. I'll give it a shot. Did he have another item on him that I've got rid of? Don't worry. All of be this happy. is going to get sold, even though Sobi Mask is nice. It's just all stuff to be sold. I got the right just groove. Ah, it was the rusty mining pick. One on the house. There we go. So that I'll leave back in base when I go there again. I'll put it on your tab. Just to make sure. Fifteen percent chance to stun. Very good versus like a strong single target, but the l arena event puts you against like multiple targets, so it's not super good in that sense. Back to Act One, but on the other side of this cave. reach the observatory, and then return to Thrall. So we've got a vast majority of this map uncovered. Now I can activate the telescope and survey the surrounding lands. Blast. It looks like the beginnings of an invasion. There's far too many of them for me to handle alone. I don't know, actually. You're pretty strong. <laughs> pretty OP so far. Looks like our job here is done. So I'm pretty sure this is the last part of this area. So if we go do the bottom right stuff now, we're coming to a close here. I'm going to send the panda back. In fact, I'm going to send them all back because I've got to sell I items anyway. Man. And then we'll come back over here. We're under it's a shame there wasn't anything that gave too much gold apart from stone worms. 
And I might try it and actually farm them. If I can have my other heroes like just sitting there farming them whilst I have another hero doing the questing, I could be making money at the same time. Let's put the rusty pick back in here with the penguin. Let's go sell some stuff. Double check any stuff here. Not too worried. I'm going to just sell the house stones. Have one on the house. Screw that. Everything must go. And it's only plus one. I got I won't get rid of that yet. Abby Jamon. You be tricksy. Das Dingo. Okay. I'll give it a shot. I got the righteous groove. So I'm gonna go back up to where groove. roughly where those lizards were. Somewhere on this area. Just gonna basically attack move up there. And Panda's I'm gonna come really over here. Yeah, I sold the saving mask. And I also shot the sheriff. Send the panda down to here. Mask of Death will be insane on the panda. This will be grisly. It just feels like something's burning. That's not a good thing, is it? Oh, here's the lizards. Look at how many there are. Crazy. Panda's gonna freaking die soon. <laughs> they don't care. We should get some nice gold from doing this, though. I'll give it a shot. Just in time. How much gold is it? Yeah, they're like 50, 50 gold basically each, which is pretty good. I think you can possibly farm those for 2,000 per two minutes, but we'll find out, won't we? Never trust an elf. And hopefully they I might drop really some items. I am really enjoying watching you thoroughly complete each Ooh, level of the campaign. Nice. Awesome. I always rush through it shot. using the I see dead people cheat code. <gasps> no. Oh, gladly. You can't just say that and expect to get away with it. There's Have repercussions. The it might be worth letting this panda die, actually, just so you can resurrect with full health. Because otherwise he's kind of useless. I'll give it a shot. I think someone's like cooking eggs or something. It really stinks. Panda, no! Yeah, I was right. Someone's making an omelette. Normally I can't smell what's being cooked from this room, but... Frickin' hell. Must be some omelette. Yeah, you just let the panda die. I don't think there's any punishment, is there, for letting him die? So... Panda can't really solo anything, though. Not yet. Well, did you see me lose any gold? Out of curiosity. I got the right, just groove. So we did this, didn't we? I'll give it a shot. I'm just curious. That tome of strength isn't going to still be there. I'll put it on your tab. Like if we hop in. That's going to teleport my heroes over here as well, isn't it? That's one way to get your heroes over to the panda. So that's 
Just got to double check with our friend the panda. I hear you, man. Oh, gladly. There's no way I'll items will respawn. Tab. Oh, gladly. I'll put it on your tab. Mm, I should be so lucky. I'll give it a shot. Hey. Hey. Prepare to get trashed. Hey. Hey. May as well walk out. Got to make the most. Let's see if my heroes have come with me then. Oh, they did. So you can transport your heroes over if you want. So that's a little trick. Don't think I can farm those lizards, though. They don't spawn quickly enough. Oh, this is the meeting point, isn't it? So we come to this area later on. That's a really big ranger. Were they only given like 10 gold each though? I got their right just grew. That's very stubborn. The quest right now is just to go talk to Thrall, but I'm basically just checking the rest of the map before I do that. Because we're almost done basically. So I can't get too many tomes unless I sit on this level for ever, but I'm probably not going to do that. And I don't think you can buy tomes in the next stage. So that'll be a shame. I'm sure he'll be OP enough though. You can buy tomes in the next level, but they're more expensive. Ah, okay. So they're quite clever then. The mobs probably give you more gold though, so it's probably about the same. Okay. Let's give it another save. Probably been like 10 hours since I last saved it. So this is maybe what for all Paul probably tells you to maybe come over here and fly over and deal with the humans or something. He looks so big though, how can he not give gold? Nine gold. That's an insult. You insult me, sir. Even the crabs give 23 gold, which is pretty reasonable. Level three. I'm sending the panda back. I'll give it a shot. Oh, 
Yeah, customs after the campaign. Melee. All that good stuff. All the stuff that works perfectly fine, as far as I've heard. And Blizzard is very happy with. Work my way back towards the crabs. The gold giving crabs. Yeah, I can't say I missed the shaman that much because everything seems to be pretty damn fast, and that was the main thing movement speed. Roken still doesn't even have boots to speed, but he's keeping up. Get splash damage wards now. I got the right just groove. I still have the side quest with the thunder lizard there, collecting lizard eggs. Hmm. Haven't collected lizard eggs. We're under attack. All of my quests are done so far. So unless I've just missed someone that can give a quest. Give a who? Like there's something... Hmm, I don't know. I don't think you can come down there really. We're under attack! Harpies. That's no good. I'll put it on your tab. We're under attack. Oh, the dragons might give some good gold though. They'll they're back. <gasps> and these wild kings will definitely give some gold as well. Go for the dragons, yeah. And now we're head over to the lizards again. Kill those and then go to Thrall. And that might be another 2,000 gold. Probably won't be 2,000 gold. It'll be close to it, though. I hear you, man. Dingo. 
shot. You bet tricks. We're under attack! Don't worry. Be happy. Sweet. You bet tricksy. Oh, gladly. Oh, crabs. Oh, bloody fool. I wonder if he gets killed doing this. I got the right just groove. Looks like he will. I'm gonna die trying now. Die a hero. Abby Jamon. Our hero has been slain. Put it on your tab. I hear the call of the wild. I'll give it a shot. I'll put it on your tab. I'll give it a shot. We're under attack. So the crabs are good, the wild kings are good, the dragons are good, and the lizards are good. Anything else is meh for killing. Get a Misha. That's a cute bear. Panda. Panda power. I hear you, man. Oh, gladly. Have one on the house. We're under attack. I think that's it then. I'll do that. Will do for now. Then I think we've done enough. Our work here is done for now. Can't realistically just farm for two thousand gold because the mobs don't really give quite enough gold for it. So let's see what Frawl has to say. Looking for Drekthar. Before he left, he said something about investigating the lizards out near Thunder Ridge. If you hurry, you might catch up to him. Are you certain of what you saw, Rexar? I can't imagine that Jaina would send troops so close to our border. This does not bode well at all. Pact or no pact, I won't allow anything to jeopardize the security of our nation. I heard about the human ships, War Chief. What are your orders? I want you both to head back to that watch post and keep an eye on the humans. We can't let this situation escalate out of control. What if they're hostile, War Chief? I'd prefer that the humans remain unharmed. But if they prove hostile in any way, you have my permission to slaughter them. Slaughter them like pigs. Time is short, warrior. You've done well. What are your orders? So should Drekfar be over here then? Or have I lost that quest now? Because I spoke to Frawl a second time. Attack. 
May as well kill these again, because we know they're good for it. Very easy. I'm glad you're here. I've been studying the Thunder Lizards for some time. The creatures almost never leave this valley, but lately they've been migrating out in greater numbers. As you've seen, they've also become highly aggressive. Something must be riling them up. Let's investigate the ridge and see if we can find any clues. Oh, and if you find any of their eggs, I'd love to study them. It's a bit creepy, that guy, isn't it? Take your time. Look around. Man, do these give 50 gold as well? I should come into here more often. Ah, oh, they don't. I was gonna say. I should pop in here every now and then. That one gave 50 gold, though. I'll give it a shot. Just farm, 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 farm the lizards. For the ultimate brewmaster. Like level two ones aren't worth it. Only the level six ones. I guess it's here you have to go. was right. We'd best head back to base and report. Humans? What could they be doing here? We allied with the humans at the Battle of Mount Hyjal. Our two races have been at peace ever since. Still, it's strange that they would venture so far into our lands. A human lumber mill. They've cut down all of the trees. That's got to be what's driving the Thunder Lizards mad. We should destroy the mill immediately. No. Our war chief signed a non-aggression pact with the humans. Destroying their holdings could lead us to open war. For now, we must put the raging lizards down before they cause any more harm. We'll have to deal with the humans later. It's like the humans get away with murder. The native animals get killed. invulnerable so you can't attack him. Realize we got Drekfar as well. Hmm. I'll look into it myself. Level three map hack. Hmm. <gasps> Little lizard egg. All the lightning. The right just better than that one. On your tab. You be tricksy.
Let's see if we can find any clues. I'm glad you're here. Can't destroy the mill because it's invulnerable. Two hundred ninety-six crit. Mr. Neg. We're under attack. I'll look into it myself. Hmm. All right, it was over here. I'll look into it myself. I'll give it a shot. We're under attack. <laughs> Studying these eggs will help me understand the Thunder Lizard's ecology. They could be the key to ensuring that nothing like this ever happens again. I still have to kill the Rampage and Thunder Lizards, though. Wait. Gonna leave that on the ground, I eh? Got their eye just grew. Grants the ability to portal to your hometown. Also reduces spell damage by 33%. Increase the hero's mana. I guess the portal ability is pretty good, especially for Mr. Das Hammer. Dingo. Oh, gladly. I'm glad you're here. Hmm. So I have to kill all the uh, lizards. This is genocide. Tell me. Let's see if we can find any clues. What troubles you have on the time? I'll give it a shot. Tell me. Oh, gladly. I'm glad you're here. Of course, it's 50 damage per second in this earthquake. Ah, oh, that's only two buildings. I thought it should only be two buildings, but when I saw the 50 damage, I was like, oh. Your beasts have been slain. What a terrible waste of life. We should report back to Thrall. He'll need to know what the humans are doing out here. I'll give it a shot. Oh, gladly. Whoa, gladly. How long has it been since you played the campaign? I don't know. Many, many years, though. So... I'll give it a shot. we'll kill the... Oh, gladly. Mm. 
you say the humans were deforesting Thunder Ridge? What could Jaina be thinking? Kill the uh, thing in the jinx. be so reckless. I'll look into this matter, Rexar. You have my word. Don't worry. Unless there's no more lizards. Abijaman. We're under attack. No, I'm not seeing many lizards. Abijaman. And all the quests are done. So return to the watch post, which is at the top right over here. I got the right just I'll give it a shot. Abijaman. What are your orders? You've done well. Let's go. We're under You've done attack. Well. Let's go. You've done well. Never trust Let's an go. elf. Lea Jai, thank you very I much, there. Right, just Time is short, warrior. Abby Jarman. I'll give it a shot. Oh, that Abby Jamman. You'll be choosing. Have one on the house. Don't worry. Be happy. I'll give it a shot. Abby Jamman. I hear you, man. Okay. No, we're too late. The camp's already been raised. There are human tracks everywhere. They lead back towards the coast. The human scum will pay dearly for this. Blood for blood, life for life. Noctarogar! I'd say the orcs had it coming, to be honest. What are your orders? You've done well. I hear Time you, man. short, warrior. Let's go. You've done well. 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 You know that scene in The Lord of the Rings where the guy Let's rides go. with a horse and clangs his weapon You've against well. the... Uh, Soldiers Let's go. in preparation for the battle. You've done this well. is how that this is how Nazgrel does it. Let's go. You've done well. Let's go. You've done well. Let's go. I got the right just groove. It's an old favorite of mine, Nazgrel. What are your orders? Orders are to go take care of the humans. I got the right just Let's go. You can go two different Never ways. Never trust an elf. Hey, Gizmo. What is your opinion oh, on no. the campaign so far? Very enjoyable, actually. Only a few glitches so far in the grand scheme of things. Otherwise, it holds up. It's uh, very similar to how the uh, original is in many aspects, and the new features have been welcome as well. Give it a shot. Like the new Dalaran and certain other levels like that. I had a good time with it. I particularly enjoy the uh, dungeon in levels. I got the right just Don't worry, be happy. I hear you, man. I got the righteous move. Would I have liked it if they modified the story to fit more with WoW? No, not really. Don't think that's even necessary. 
Like, honestly, I think if they did, like, a Warcraft 4 or something, I imagine it would be, like, a prequel or something. I'd be surprised if it was something, like, based after. Because uh, World of Warcraft kind of did power leveling and stuff like that. Like, people were, like, mega powerful in that. So it'd be more, like, down to earth, I think. Kind of hard to do a prequel though, because they've already done Warcraft 1 and Warcraft 2. So they almost have to do a story that kind of happened before that, or within that time. This anchor emblem on their shields. Have you ever seen it before? Orcs! We've been followed! To arms, men! To arms! Come, human dogs! Taste the wrath of the Horde! Apparently I missed an item, which is pretty much unacceptable. What are your orders? Ah, that's all right. Do I think I should add more campaigns into Reforge? I think that's very unlikely. You got custom campaigns anyway. That's if those even work. But people have already created like millions of campaigns for Warcraft 3. And I think the campaigns are long enough as it is. Like the amount of value you get for doing just the campaigns. You think about the amount of hours I've spent so far. And I still haven't technically completed it. No doubt about it. Those are the same ships I saw from the observatory. This will be Never trust an elf or a human. Yeah, it actually does have splash damage. That's a really cool buff. That's really good. 10% extra damage. Chen will appreciate that. I can get one more tome. Not much more than that. Inventory is 
hands full. Well, that's it. All the black masks so far is just of high terrain. So, I think I've covered everything. And there's still two more parts to go. So, let's return now. I'll give it a shot. Hmm. I can teleport back, but I might not be able to reach the Fudu Lounge in time. So I might manually run back with uh, my panda boy. And I'll try and creep some stuff on the way back. I got the right just groove. We're under attack. Time is short, warrior. See these wild king can be killed. See if we can get like close to two thousand two hundred gold again before talking to Frol. Short warrior. Let's go. I got the righteous groove. What are your orders? Did they give any good gold? I don't think they gave any good gold. Crown of Kings and the Pandas, maybe. We're under He's kind of filled up on items, though. He should really take it over that. Put it on your tab. Have one on the house. We're under attack. Not right. What are you asking? You're the juicy. Unleash the beast. Oh, gladly. I'll give you a shot. I hear you, man. Have one on the house. There's my lizard friends. I think Nazgrel's dead, by the way. <laughs> He's done well. But I'm pretty sure the old Nazgrel's down for the count. We don't need him anymore though, do we? As long as he's not in like the future level and gives any more missions. He served his purpose. I don't even think I want Stormer. Well, I better pick it, but Don't worry. Be happy. Happy Jamon. Fighting has grown classic wow. All right, I might have come across him before, I can't remember. you kept Duratar safe. Yet this anchor sigil you described does seem oddly familiar. I just can't place it. Pardon, boss man, but if the humans be coming from the sea, my tribe on the Echo Isles could be deep in the danger too. Don't worry, Rokan. You have my word that I won't let anything happen to your people. I have an urgent mission for you, Rexar. 
That human fleet poses a serious threat to the trolls that live on the Echo Isles. I need you to take a Zeppelin to the Isles and warn the trolls about what's happening. If you can, try to convince them to join us on the mainland. Okay, we've done well. Let's go. So whilst I'm right clicking over here, hopefully nothing gets killed and I'll BRB quickly. It gives me a chance to have a quick break. I'll give it a shot. Three champions already. Well, there are some crabs to kill. They did give some fairly useful gold, but we'll just go fast. Isles. Along the shores of the Barrens lies a multitude of islands which the jungle trolls have claimed as their own. The Darkspear trolls maintain outposts to keep watch for imminent dangers from the seas. There's no telling what dangers lurk on these isles. I'll have to move quickly and find the troll's village. So according to Albu, there's no panda on this level. But I'm pretty sure that was Chen angrily attacking Finnair a moment ago. So if you like trolls, this map is for you. Zeppelin to Orgrimmar. So I suppose you can go back, back and forth. Could you not just return back with the gold that you've made on this level and buy those tomes? Anyway, we'll worry about that when we've got money. Yeah, this is still technically Act 1, actually, to be fair. As long as I get the panda for um, the arena, that's all I want him for, really. That's the main thing. Each of these are giving like 48 gold each. Oh no. 
I need a level six ones. I hear you, man. Happy Jamon. Oh, hang on. Ha. Huh. Now I have two Mishas. So when one of the Mishas is hexed, I think you might be able to get a second Misha. I shouldn't have killed that guy then. I'll wait until he gets hexed again. I could always try summoning another one. I'll save it first. And see if it gets rid of either of these. Ah, okay, it does. But we've still got one extra one. <laughs> Warcraft free exploits. Ah. So if we get hexed again. Although they might both have to be hexed in order for me to get another one, so I don't know if I can get more than two. But we've got two now, where there should really only be one. So that's fine. Will the Mishis be back at Juratar? No, I suppose they wouldn't be. As soon as I go back to Juratar. I don't know. Probably not. There hasn't been any tones of agility, has there? And I think there's been like a tone of strength, but that was like a secret. That is expensive, though, isn't it? Not as good as the original tomes from the previous part, so that's nowhere near on point. 6,000 gold. <laughs> that's daylight robbery. him if you want to interrupt that channel spell if you have hex I just groove I got the right just groove you see that crit it's just straight off the bat 10% chance of that. Some like Blade Master RNG. Oh, hello. There's always a bigger fish. If a Hydra is a fish. I think that's a time. No, it's just a rune of now. Now, because I got a different version of Misha, does it replace my other ones? Okay. 
those thick eyebrows. So wise. So cute. <laughs> eyebrows equals 450 health. Yeah, pretty much. At some point, Commander, there'll be custom games. That's some money. So we don't want to go see him just yet. Well, maybe. I'm just trying to clear as much as I can. We're under attack. I should probably go talk to him now, actually. We're close enough. Yeah, I can hover over Misha's small ability. So, it's 35% chance to do 50 bonus damage and stun for 2 seconds, or 35% chance to do. Oh, I think it's the same. So Misha only gets like very minor extra stats. Otherwise it's basically the same Misha. The same Misha you know and love. That looks expensive. Grants the ability to fire bolts of pain. Yeah, it's pretty mere actually that item. So that's almost worth a soul sell. Depends what the cooldown is on it. Don't worry. Be happy. It'd almost be worth coming back over here to see those Murlocs are respawned to get some gold back. I'm thinking of sending. Chenny Chen 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 back to base to buy those tomes though. I'll see what happens if I do that. Ah, uh, can't. I'll give it a shot. Well, have one on the house. I be Voljin, leader of the Dark Spear tribe. It'd be good that the war chief send you when he did, man. Our villages already be under attack by the human fleet. We got no time to waste. Even now, the humans' battleships be blasting away at our coastal villages. You have little hey. chance of defeating such a force on your own, Vol'jin. You should evacuate your tribe to the mainland and unite with the war chief's forces. Though I hate to be abandoned in our homes, your plan be a wise one. However, we got to destroy those battleships before the evacuation can begin. Oh, these wily ones will serve you well, man. Their talent for destruction be mighty. We have no flying mounts, Vol'jin. We'll be useless on land. Oh, won't be a problem, man. Now, this be feeling a bit strange. Whenever you want to get your legs back, just land in the ritual circle. Remember, you must destroy at least five of the human ships before we can commence with the evacuation. I think he's nerfed my... Oh, we still got the double Misha. Alright, sink the fleet. Destroy the human battleships. Let's work on that then. I'll have to go back to base at some point. So we've got Frenzy. Roar. Aerial Shackles, Healing Wave, Firebolt, Breath of Fire, and he's got Evasion. We be listening. Oh, 
Oh, bat riders have a bit more health in this. have so much health, don't they? They have crazy amounts of health. getting gold for this. What about these? Do I get gold for killing these? I'm just obsessed with gold. No, no gold. Let's just concentrate on actually killing the battleships that it wants me to kill them. Riders are being sacrificed for me greedily, just skipping everything else. We'll get some map hack. Have a look at the rest of the map. I could possibly... Oh, you can't go over there. It's like an invisible border. Makes sense, really. For this part of the quest. Here is done. Fire it up, man. Didn't realize you actually get replenishing bat riders. Tribesmen. The outer villages be ready for the evacuation. They await only the signal to begin. In order to signal the evacuation, you gotta light the five signal braziers scattered across the islands. When you're done, the rest of me tribe will set sail for the mainland. But be careful, man. There be more dangerous foes than humans prowling the jungle. Light the signal braziers. Okay. I'll you do what I type. The human fleet be drawing near. Where should want me go? Don't worry. Also grants be the happy. Does not stack with endurance for her. Sweet. I hear you, man. 
You bet Trixie. So it's both level one endurance or I think. Does dingo. So that item could be sold. Because the two on. berserkers aren't that special. I hear you, man. Have one on the house. I'll put it on your tab. I got the right just screw. That rusty pick does come in handy. My fang and claw. Hey. Unleash the beast. Healing self, scroll of speed, boots of speed. Do I eventually get boots of speed for your boy Rokan? Don't worry, be happy. Oh, no. Orb is slow. It's possibly the best orb. It's really expensive. Ah, that's fine. Ignore it. Look how the map's extended. Damn, the brazier is guarded by some kind of sea giant. Getting to it won't be as easy as I thought. We've lost the double Misha. It was good for a while. I need to use that item just to see I what the cooldown is. Just groove. 30 That's seconds is not too bad, but it's 1,600 gold. There's no other real benefit. Like, percentage benefit. It's just a flat benefit. We're under attack! The other Misha is with Fulgin. You think so? Perhaps there is hope. These guys are permanent though, but they get replaced, I think, every time you use that item. So you can't like stack them up to have unlimited amounts. Pretty confident of that. Bad breath, Chim. I hear you, man. There's ugly turtles. Kill them all. They're abominations. Creature stands in my way. Oh, look, it's the bad guy from One Punch Hero. One Punch Man, my favorite bad guy. So, why, after Frexar insults them all the time, do we suddenly get one of them to fight with us? It's a bit awkward. The Fish King. Yeah, I freaking love that guy. He's awesome.
Seeking. Now oh, there we go. Big boy. Kill maim. Increase attack damage by 20. Also causes the heroes. Ah, oh, there you go. Still low. I wonder what the percentage is on that. When Deferin found his lady, Alarana, in the arms of another, he went to the barons and cried out. An axe burst forth from the sands as if in answer. Deferon slew Alarana and her lover, then held the axe with all his might into the deep, dark sea. Sounds like a Greek tragedy or something. You see, your poison. Should be 50%. That's huge. That's insane. That on the panda. Be happy. That's an invincible panda. You see the little arched. I'll put it on your tab. Have one on the house. I'll give it a shot. Okay. So nothing else to gather from here. No other tomes. That throne is actually way too small for that <laughs> Sea King, wasn't it? All the other thrones I've come across so far in this campaign have been absolutely massive. I got the right just groove. Return to Thrall. Yeah, make sure he's over here. Can we teleport to one of these bases? The prof the spirits say no. So hard to answer the question is reforged art worth buying. I think I answered it yesterday though. It's like probably not if you're like not into Warcraft free or you know, just coming into it after a long period of time. Maybe in the long run it is, but I think currently at the moment it's uh, got problems, hasn't it? If you enjoy the campaign, though, you might get just enough out of that. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't forget the Murloc mid. Yeah, yeah, I know there's a Murloc to be killed as well. I hear you, man. Got 10,000 gold, boys. 10,000 gold. There's no more quests from you, is there? Fulgins. He's still got all these human ships and stuff outside there. So, I, I mean, I'd still be a bit worried if I was him. We need to get back so I can start that buying Chen's items cooldown. Maybe it gave you that um, Tome of Knowledge for 6,000 gold to try to trick you into spending that. But I'm going to have to wait like multiple two minutes whilst I feed up Chen. Because I'm pretty sure we're, we're good to go into the next act now. But I don't think the gold is necessarily going to carry over. Hundred and thirteen gold for those bad boys. Yeah, we're getting get better gold from this island than we are from anything back on the main island. So it'll probably be worth bouncing back and forth between this island and farming it whilst I'm waiting for the cooldowns. Although the cooldown stops, doesn't it, when you move into another area. But the travel time Gold does not carry over, I'm being told. 
Hmm. It's got to be spent then, hasn't it? I could cook my pizza or something, maybe. Whilst I'm waiting for that. Stone's pretty good, but only if I get five of them, and I didn't really get five. My fang and claw. I could hold on to it. I hear you, man. Eventually, maybe. Have five stacked up. Level four drunken brawler. The dream is realized. Six hundred sixty-six. Just crabs. I'm going to see if anything else is in this shop. No. Ah, 1350 gold for parry up to vitality. As if. No one's crazy enough to spend that. That's a rip-off shop, that is. If you like being ripped off, that's the place to go. Ah, oh, you could have the hex thing again. I got the right just Oh, hang on. All right. That's another one that cast hex. What the hell? Of course, this guy can swim. Right, okay. When it says also increases the hero's strength, agility, and intelligence by two, I assume that doesn't give you those stats when you click on it. That would be ama amazing if it did, but it's there's no way. That's just for summoning the Murlocs as the charges. Especially since his stats go up by two when he picks it up. Yeah, no way. No way. Oh, what? What happened to my extra Misha? I had another one. Oh. Here it is. I got the righteous groove. I feel you Getting mind. a bit headachey, unfortunately. Does dingo. Oh no, it replaced that one. Got an item here. Roll. Ah. 
Zeppelin to Pyre Island. Ah, interesting. Well, I assume Thrall tells me to go to Pyre Island then. over here. Twelve thousand gold to spend. We're under Back we go. To tame a land. A land of mystic wonder. Did I leave an item behind him? Is it a pendant of mana at the shop? Or are you just saying that you can buy a pendant of mana? The crabs never forget. Alright, let's go chat with your boy for all. On your tab. First of all, have one on the house. I'll put it on your tab. I got the righteous groove. I'll put it on Not your tab. Not taking any chances. Don't worry. Be happy. Boom, boom. Set that on cooldown. Could buy Crown of Kings. It's technically pretty good value. 7,500 gold for plus 5 on everything. So plus 15 stats. But we still don't know how many items. We'll probably shot. still get full inventory. Have one on the house. I'm glad you returned safely, Rexar. You've done well. My scouts have informed me that the Dark Spear trolls have landed further down the coast. They'll be much safer under the Horde's protection. Still, the situation with the humans has intensified. I've received word that they're sending an emissary to parley with me. We're to meet at Razor Hill around midnight. I don't know, Thrall. It sounds like a trap to me. Let me go in your place. I can't imagine that Jaina Proudmoore would ever set me up, Rexar. Even so, I'm not one to run from a fight. Just trust me. If you're right, we'll have lost nothing. Boom. Let's go parlay with the humans. Have one on the house. My peon's just showing off. It's not even working. These ones are working hard because they're next to Thrall and he's watching them. This guy's just completely slacking off. He's like, the War Chief's not watching me, so I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, thank you earlier again, Gizmo, for the tier 3 of the subs. That's a pig. That is a pig indeed. Can get intelligence for Rokan, but I don't know if it's necessary. This is it. The meeting place lies just beyond. Greetings, humans. It's about time you showed up. What is the meaning of this? This ogre cannot be the orc war chief. And you are not Jaina Proudmore. Jaina? Why would you think she would be? Ugh, enough of this drivel. 
We'd hope to corner your wretched war chief, but you will have to suffice. Strike! Assassins, I knew this was a trap. Now this is World of Warcraft classic. Overpowered horde taking on all of these humans. Tell me who sent you, human. Was it Jaina? Foolish beast. You have no idea what's coming for you. It is only just beginning. Foul beast. Return to your boy, Frawl. Quick panda go. Look at him go. I've never seen him so f spirited. He really wants those tomes. I'll give it a shot. What about that mission We're under attack. from the Echo Isles to go to the Pyre Isle? Maybe that's where the level ends, but probably be bouncing back and forth here. Farming a little bit more. Spending time, so I might put my pizza on, so then I can take a break on the house. at the end of this, have my pizza, and then move on to part two. Because I'll probably do those in separate videos. I was thinking about putting this all in one video, but it's going to be quite lengthy and quite... I mean, I did 11 hours on the Undead the one, but I think I'll each of these stories can time. hold off on their own. Oh, Pyre Isles jammer. was the fire. Oh, it's the fire. Okay. I feel you, well, hold on then. Let's save it and find out what happens if I talk to Thrall. If it does just completely end. Because I'll load my save. If that's the case. You were right, Rexar. I should have trusted your instincts. Still... I can't believe Jaina would try something like this. Hmm, perhaps it's time we took a more direct approach. Rexar, I've written a letter to Jaina Proudmore asking her to account for all this madness. I want you to infiltrate her base on Theramore Isle and deliver it to her personally. You can count on me, Thrall, but I may need help bypassing the human's defenses. I've chartered this Zeppelin to take you to the Darkspear tribe's new village. Once you get there, Vol'jin will see that you get all the help you'll need. Good luck, Rexar. The future of Duratar is in your hands. Well, that is that then. Also, did I buy the tones for Rexar then? Because that's no good if I did. I have to actually go back into it to load it. Can't seem to find where I would load my games. Hong Kong. Re. The hell? Oh. Oh, this brings a whole new meaning to RPG. Looks like we're going to be playing this again, but from a different perspective.
It might be a bit more difficult this way, though. That is quite the camera angle. You've got the look of an ogre, half-breed. What's your business here? I carry a message for your war chief. I'll not stay long. Whatever you can hear, my dad going berserk in the background. It's always such a psycho. Right. Do I need to load two saves here to work out whether Rexar got the tomes? Matter. Sweet. Right, okay. 45, 23. 45, 23. Wait, one was also just by this, so I need to go like... I. They didn't put checkpoints, though. I mean, they give you the resurrection stones, but they didn't really work on this campaign, I don't think. And uh, give you checkpoints. you think there'd be more checkpoints in areas. Forty-five, twenty-three. I'll be greatly upset if tomes were spent on Rexar. It's not even that problem. Bigger problem though. Time and strength and agility on him. But of course, everything should go to the panda. Forty-five, twenty-three. So I didn't. Thank you, uh, was it Soy? For making me paranoid about that. Biggest OCD walkthrough I've ever seen. Well, I love the potential. You bet, Trixie. That's what works for me, is the good old potential. So, whilst Chili Boy is waiting, groove. I'm going to send these characters over here. He's going to buy some more tomes in about 80 seconds. Then they're going to come over here, do some farming, but I don't, I don't think this changes off cooldown. So you may as well just wait. Yeah, maybe just spend the gold. Anyway, um, back in a moment. Just going to see if I'm going to have pizza or something else. chips today instead so don't have to put a pizza on clear yeah. I'll have the pizza tomorrow because the pizza's got to be cooked and then eaten which is like an hour really oh yeah those stats are looking good I'm honestly wondering if just buying only agility is better than strength whilst he hasn't got 200 agility. Like the priority of getting him to 200 agility seems almost paramount, really. He might get a couple more items there. I mean, he's got this, actually, to be fair. 20% attack rate, so... says that by the way he's always complaining right he's always had enough 45 agility 90% attack rate 110% attack rate uh, that's 
kind of it though. It's not got much more than that. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this island in a moment when this is on like a 60 second cooldown just to see if it does uh, the troll stuff. Nah, I sold that. 60 seconds. Looks like everything stays dead because that's a shame because this island actually looked like the best potential for ah what happens if I click on and go to this this looked like it had the most potential for farming but the creatures that gave the most gold are dead in fact, pretty much everything is dead. Oh no, there's, these two will give some gold. So I can just still do these. Yeah, Jungle Stalkers. That should be some toasty gold. 116 gold each. Crab's probably not worth it. this come it's not really that good anyway I wonder how much health regen you'd have if you have six inventory slots full of five health stones each. So 30 health stones. You might be able to just go solo Admiral Proudmore right at the start of the last level. We're under I'll put it on your tab. And we're back. I still wouldn't buy it all slow. No big sea giants to farm either. Oh. Potential, unfortunately, is lost. What you want me to do? What you want? Okay. Well. We're under attack. What you want me to go? What the hell? Stop. Don't right click on the mini map there. We're under attack. I hear you, man. Unleash the beast. Oh, these are back. Do you think these respawn as soon as I go into that place? Because if they did, you could really farm some gold. You be Trixie. Hmm. No, not really. Yeah, it's just a one-off. Excuse me. I got the righteous Abby Jamon. 
back and forth we go. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the times don't tick. Tickety boo. We'll be forever though if we just buy it only oh, time of agility. Gladly. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. So it's definitely held on cooldown. You're probably gonna want to take those or sell that. So the penguin can be sold then, because that stuff. Does the stash stay with you for the next part? Probably not. It does. Yes or no, it does. Well, I could leave it then. Okay. Because that has potential. There's nothing that special about it other than the 15% stun. Oh, gladly. Basically, stun lock someone. Is that a quote for the Dota thing? Sweet. Spieler, McDaughter. I feel you, man. I feel nah. you, man. Because it's... The Dota thing is from the Warcraft thing, so... I just wondered if it was referenced in itself for a second there. Sweet. Somehow I've missed some gold coins. I feel you, man. We're under attack! I got the right, just groove. You can treat me. Misha's long lost cousin stays on that island. I did finish the Undead campaign, yeah. I hear you, man. Oh, it's a lot of lizards, that's good. We like the lizards. On your tab. Worry. Be happy. Spent an hour on the credits. We're under attack. I got the right, just groove. Next chunk of gold can be found over here, Wild King and stuff like that. It was like an hour of credits, honestly. Did I destroy the base or just went for the obelisks? That's up to you to decide and find out. What did I do? Have 
one on the house. We're under attack! I'm not the righteous groove. Maybe I can get one more time, but it's probably not worth hassle of waiting, is it? 478 gold. Nah. You can get like one more time, maybe farm a little bit longer after two minutes. I'm almost tempted, actually. I hear you, man. Just to fulfill the OCD and the destiny. It'd probably be a time of agility as well. Because I don't know how I'm going to get 200 agility otherwise. I might get lucky and find some way to do it, but... It seems unlikely. Don't worry. Be happy. Abby Jamon. I don't think there's anything more this way. I got the right just Extra, each point of strength is extra five damage on crit though. I got the mm. right just groove. Agility or strength. Does Dingo. Well he's got four I mean he's still got He's got 12 points into agility from that, potentially. He's got 20% attack speed there. Never trust Thank you, Wasis, for the sub. So he's got 42 plus 12, potentially. So 44, 54, which is 108% attack speed. So, yeah, 128. It's got some way to go, to be honest. It's got a long way to go. I hear you, man. I still think he needs the agility, because the faster he can attack at the end of the day the more likely he is to get those um, procs in the first place. I kind of want to really get him to like 200 agility. This will do it. Perfect. So let's go with the agility. And finish this off. So, he's going into the next level with 63, 43, 25. So, not bad. I'll give it a shot. You were right, Rexar. I should have trusted your instincts. Still, I can't believe Jaina would try something like this. Hmm, perhaps it's time we took a more direct approach. Rexar, I've written a letter to Jaina Proudmore asking her to account for all this madness. I want you to infiltrate her base on Theramore Isle and deliver it to her personally. You can count on me, Thrall, but I may need help bypassing the humans' defenses. I've chartered this Zeppelin to take you to the Darkspear tribe's new village. Once you get there, Vol'jin will see that you get all the help you'll need. Good luck, Rexar. The future of Duratar is in your hands. So, thus concludes the first episode of 
Rexar's bonus campaign, the founding of Duotar. This one to tame a land, episode one. We will move on to episode two. Once I've had my food and all of that. So until then, thank you very much everyone for watching. Make sure to thumbs up the video, like, subscribe, twitch.tv slash witty, youtube.com slash witty warcraft. Uh, witty warcraft on twitter and patreon as well as witty warcraft at gmail.com for any contact so thank you very much and uh have a great day i'm gonna go take a bit of a break now and then if you're watching this on youtube the next part will probably be uploaded very shortly afterwards and just check the reforged campaign playlist youtube.com slash witty warcraft check the playlist for reforged campaign where all of the Reforged campaigns are located. Take care.